Hello everyone and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. Thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful Easter Sunday. Um, I'm filming uh, after all of our family festivities and then I'm going to edit and post tonight. So I'm sure this is going to be a late night release. Tomorrow, I am going to be introducing my LBF bundle boxes. Um, so I wanted to go over what they are and show you the contents of the boxes that will be available tomorrow. I think I have 16 boxes available. And these are the items that I cleared out from my own personal closet and some of the items are from my daughter's closet so there's going to be a mix of sizes in here they are not high-end boxes they are not necessarily meant for reselling but you are welcome to resell these if you so choose to so the price on each of the bundle boxes is $30 so from that $30 Poshmark will take their 20% which will then bring it down to $24 and I will be donating $2 to the Boston Resiliency Fund I will profit $22 per box um, so they are not super high-end things I have a mix of things from Target from Old Navy I have a Macy's box I have a Kohl's box I have an athletic wear box that has a mix of things um, I have a Boston box with some b local Boston sports teams American Eagle Victoria's Secret and I think that about covers it did I say Ann Taylor loft box the most of my boxes are Old Navy boxes, Old Navy Gap, I think compromise about eight of these boxes. Uh, and I'm just going to get into it. I'm gonna show you each box. I'm gonna tell you the contents of the box and then they will be numbered. So when they are listed on Poshmark tomorrow, they will not have pictures, but they will have a number with the description um, in the box. What I might do is put like all of the items in my photo box and just take one picture like as a bulk. Um, order. These are not going to be steamed items. This is not going to be like my typical packaging. They are just going to come in a priority mailbox and they will probably be shipped out Wednesday of this coming week. So anyways, I'm really excited about this. They were a lot of work um, in the sense that I, I didn't want to do mystery boxes because they are not for resale. I wanted people to know what they were getting. So let's get into it. So this is these are my my notes right here and i'm also in my basement i'm shooting up against my backdrop because i've been sorting all the boxes down here so i wanted to be able to just be here grab the box and show you so we'll see how it goes i'm of course i'm using my new camera so i hope i'm not too washed out i hope i'm not blurry always my disclaimer so what this does is um it shows me remotely i see what i'm looking at when i connect to the wi-fi so um, I'm just hoping that everything is good. All right, so let's get going. Have I been blurry all this time? I really don't know. Let's see. First box is an Old Navy, what I'm calling my Old Navy black box. As many of you know, I love to wear black. A lot of the items in here are black, and a lot of these items are basics. So I'm just going to go through quickly because I have 16 boxes to go through. And I Okay, so first item in the Old Navy black box. This is an extra large, relaxed, Old Navy soft black t-shirt. This is a tunic like or a beach cover-up. It's black. It's semi-sheer. It has these embroidered floral. I really, really like this. I don't know. Some of these things, I'm like, why am I getting rid of that again? This is an old navy sweatshirt. It is black. It has a V in the back. And this is a size large. There's that. Very soft. This is an old navy black wrap dress in a size large. This is a really cute classic. I'm not sure if you can see the detail here, but it has like that, that classic wrap style, very flattering on many people. And these are all in good pre-owned condition. Some of the stuff may have some wash wear, um, but generally they are really good. And I, I pulled anything that had stains or pills or anything like that. So the the biggest flaw you'll see with these items are probably some wash wear, some light fading. This is actually a black velvet top. Um, and that is that for each, this box. Most of the boxes have six items. Some of the items, um, like I think my Boston box and my athletic box have only five items. 
Um, so that's it. So you're either going to be paying $5 per item or $6 per item. There will be no discounted shipping with these boxes. Um, so that's the next bundle box is a Macy's bundle box. Um, and I think these are all Macy's brands. I did the best I could. This is an Alfani. This is like a nice stretchy black color block with like a scoop bottom hem for nice coverage. Um, this could be worn with leggings or jeans. This is an extra large. It also has like cap sleeves. This is an ideology quarter zip black like um, athletic top, really cute. This is a Macy's brand. This is another color block. This is AB Studio. This could be JCPenney, but I put it in this box anyways. Cream on the top, black on the bottom. Very nice, lightweight cotton. You can almost see it's almost like a little burnout fabric. Not quite, but because it's a sweater, but this is a size large. Super cute. Again, it has like a longer length to it, which is really nice. It's that sweater. This is a Karen Scott sweater, 100% cotton cable knit with button detail. This is really cute. It has the sleeves that fold up and button. That's adorable. And the last item is like a is a shawl style, which I love a lot of these. I just have so many of them. And I wanted to point out on this one, this is Charter Club. And it's probably more like a one size, but this is, you know, the style that comes over like this. Really cute. But what's interesting about this, and at first I thought it was a flaw, but I think it's intentional because I've, I've actually never worn this. Um, but it has this little section in the collar here that is, um, which is basically stitched over and it has like a hole. So I think if you want to, if you want to put it on like this and then tie this section up, it will go through that little hole and it will hold it in place if that makes sense. I'm not sure where to look with this camera. I'm so not used to this. Okay, that was box number two, Macy's box. Moving on to box number three. I'm gonna try to get this right and look directly ahead. This is a gap box. And this is a really super lightweight gray, um, just pop over top and it has some like detailed pleating on the chest there. It also has the sleeves that you can roll up with the ribbon that buttons under here. And it's like shorter length, like three quarter length sleeves, very lightweight, perfect for spring. That's a size large. These are some really cute legging jeans in this beautiful like maroon wine colored velvet. These are the Gap 1969. These are 31s or size 12. These are actually beautiful for holiday, a little bit out of season, but very nice. The 1969 line from Gap is a great, a great division of their brand. This is a size large sweater, just like a nice basic Gap scoop neck sweater with shorter length sleeves. Again, you'll notice I like a lot of basics. I don't wear a lot of patterns. This is my new um, sweatshirt that I just got from Everlane that I love, although it washes me out with all this white lighting. Um, this is just a basic tee, very soft cotton. This is an extra large gap V-neck tee. A lot of these, so I just like longer length stuff. So this still fits me and it's still in excellent condition. I just like a longer length. So a lot of these, some sometimes the things that I'm getting rid of are just a shorter length. Um, this sweater is really pretty. This does have some pilling, which I will try to sweater shave, but I love this neon color. It's like this fluorescent pink. I don't know if it's going to really, it, it almost looks like it's showing up a little more um, purpley on the screen. But anyways, it's like a good neon fluorescent pink up top and then navy blue stripes. But I'm just going to show up close. You can see some of the detail that does have some pilling and I will sweater shave that before I ship it out. I just wanted to disclose that that is a size large. And again, that is gap box number three. Next up, we have a box from Kohl's. I actually think Kohl's has some underrated stuff and specifically, I love their apartment nine uh, basic t-shirts. I wear those to bed a lot. Uh, so this is an apartment nine, uh, but it's like a tunic turtleneck style. And I've mentioned this before, I'm just not crazy about stuff around my neck. So I noticed that when I was getting rid of stuff from this round, a lot of them were things from um, that were high neck stuff. So this is apartment nine, tunic length, definitely cute with leggings or skinny jeans. This, gosh, I might've worn this once. 
This is just a Crofts and Barrow fleece like new. I don't know that I ever wore this. This may have been like something my mom gave me like at Christmas time or that I got around like Black Friday, but this is a size large, very super like that really soft, silky um, fleece. Again, a little out of season, but it is what it is in these boxes. They're like five or six dollars a piece for you. This is a great blouse. I debated on keeping this, but I just have so many of these. Um, this is apartment nine. It's a little bit of like a bohemian look. Very sheer. You would definitely have to wear something under this. I'm sure I wore it with like a black tank top underneath, or you could wear it with a pop of pink. You could wear it with a pink tank top underneath. Really cute. This is just your basic, this has some wash wear, but I, I did include this. This is the brand Anna, A-N-A. -A. This might actually be a Macy's brand. Some of these I got a little confused with, but the boxes are as is. I'm not gonna switch anything from the boxes. So I did my best um, to make them fair. So this is Anna, this is just a really, this is a medium, but I definitely wore this a lot. Um, I just have so much of this. So besides the wash wear, it's a nice lightweight, black scoop neck sweater with three quarter length sleeves and a little bit of wash wear. This sweater is like new. This is an apartment nine sweater. Um, it's a size large and it's black and it has this really pretty sparkle in it. This would be really great if you were like getting dressed up. This would look great with a pair of jeans. I apologize if you're not into black clothing. I have so much of it. Uh, this is a really nice style. This is metaphor. Again, I think this is Kohl's, but you know, it is what it is. What's really nice about this is it's a peplum style, which is a very flattering style. This is kind of like a dressier look, but here is where the details are really pretty. There are buttons in the back all the way down to the peplum and then some detail in the knit. Really cute, really cute sweater. So that is our Kohl's sweater. Again, remember every box is $30 and they have between five and six items. I may not have all 16 up by morning, so just be patient and hopefully um, they will just kind of start popping up during the day. I also have to film another video because I have a partnership that uh, I'm, another video that's coming out on Wednesday and I have to get that video up. So, and it is Easter Sunday, so I'm, I'm really cutting it close here. But I am going to give the people who reached out already from my past video, like first dibs on things. Uh, so if there isn't something that you see here that's listed, that could be a reason why it may have already sold before it got posted. Um, but I'm actually going to post everything on Poshmark so you'll see it, but you'll just see that it's sold. So this is another um, Gap bundle. And this is bundle number, are we on six now? One, two, three, four. No, this is only number five and I have 16 to go. I better hurry. Okay. This is an extra large striped top from the Gap lightweight. That's a, like a boxy style, a lot of room in that. Some of these are going to have some mixed sizes in them. Uh, this is a Old Navy. So this is an Old Navy and Gap mix box. Old Navy, just a straight up hoodie. Very good condition. This is like new. That will be in this box. And remember, this is box number five. This is a really cute dress. I remember this dress. Uh, this is an Old Navy size large, just very free, not form fitting at all. It's actually a halter. And I'll show you the detail at the collar. Really pretty. Um, not like I mean, I wouldn't say this is like the most flattering dress, but what I will say is like on hot days in the summer to just pop this on and just with like a pair of sandals, just so cute. I loved that dress. But as you know, I got rid of 30 dresses and I have probably 40 left, so some had to go. And I'm also going to be doing a video with just dresses. I think I have 30 dresses to um, haul. So that's going to be another video. This is a Gap scoop neck t-shirt, very basic black elbow length sleeves. These are really cute. I debated keeping these, but again, these are medium. They are gap fit and they are really cute joggers and they are like this eggplant color. A little bit of wash wear on these, the jogger, and it's like a cropped jogger, but like a really nice solid cotton fabric. These are really cute, really, really cute. 
And then lastly in this box, number five is a Gap cardigan sweater in this really nice coral. This would have been great for Easter, which is today, but a nice spring coral. Um, a little bit of like wash wear pilling, but, but really not bad. And again, adorable with denim, cute with white pants in the summertime, adorable. So that is box number five. Moving on to box number six, here we go. Hey, look at this, it's a black t-shirt from Lori's Closet. <laughs> this is a long sleeve t-shirt. The, the line is called the Bowery Super Soft Gap. This is another Gap box. And what's cool about this is I'm gonna pull it up. It has this like um, little bit of like satiny fabric on the shoulders. Um, and I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. Oh yeah, a little bit on the sleeve as well. You can't really see it because of course it's black on black. But this is very soft, a little bit of a longer length in very good condition. Uh, I included, I think I have a couple of these of these skirts in the boxes. Some are Old Navy, some are Gap, but these are just these like very basic, easy stretch knit skirts. Um, you can fold them over, you can wear them high. I even kept a few of these. I just think I had like three or four of them because these were like my favorite skirts. These are great in the summer to pop over a one-piece bathing suit or if you have a two-piece bathing suit. Really cute. Um, the mediums were definitely getting like riding up on me and I think I ended up keeping the larges. A nice length. I just got so much use out of these black skirts. I just had so many. In another basic white tee, this t-shirt is such beautiful quality. This is like butter. And actually, this scoop is the back. So it's a back scoop with a higher neck in the front and um, longer length sleeves on the... For a short sleeve, I don't like... I don't wear a lot of short sleeve t-shirts and I, sur I hate this part of my arm. So I always would get t-shirts that would cover that. That was a really nice one. That's like new. This is another like just like a... A lightweight like jersey top and it has this really pretty slouchiness in the front and this is like a nice classic like a taupey color um, and then again I kind of favor these lighter weight tops um, this is really cute you can dress this up or down this is gap size large and again remember this is box number six Hopefully I'll speed up by the end this is actually a really nice piece this is a size large you know, I weighed all these and all of these should be under five pounds. They all, they all were. Um, so there should be no issues with shipping. Um, but I was worried about this one because this is heavy. It says designed and crafted by Gap. This is a ribbed cardigan sweater. Very, very nice. Has like mild pilling, but it's cotton. But there's a little bit. I'll show it up close for you. Nice navy blue. This would be, this is like a great year round sweater, but I love navy blue in the spring and summer. Okay, box number seven. I want to mix it up because I have so many old navy. I don't want this whole, like, I don't want it to be a slew of old navy. Well, it already has been. So I'm going to mix this up. This is box number seven, and this is American Eagle, and these are all small sizes. So these are my daughter's. Some of these things I had ready to go to thread up and I decided let me just pull them and do a box with them. So some she just got rid of, some were in a box for thread up. These are all really cute. This is the Amazingly Soft American Eagle Extra Extra Small. But I think this would fit like a small, extra small. It's like a, like a nice mauve color. I'll show you the detail. There's that. This is more towards spring and summer. This is soft and sexy jeggings. This is a size medium, longer length. These are the jeggings soft and sexy to be worn with like fitted pants, leggings, or jeggings. Again, this is like a, that same, like a deeper mauve color. This has some pretty embellishment. This is another soft and sexy, sexy, extra, extra small. This could definitely fit a small, but it has these pretty embroidered flowers and it's a V-neck, a little bit of a longer length, really cute. These are size four American Eagle shorts. I had a, I have a bin of just summer things that I have been putting aside and getting ready to list. And I just decided I would pull a few of those. These definitely are not a high rise. I also have these denim jean shorts, a little bit of that longer length, probably like a three inch inseam. These are a size zero. This is a very small size box, American Eagle. And then lastly, these khaki American Eagle shorts. They have the raw edge. 
They're really cute as well. And it looks like I can't find a size. Where are we? These are size zero as well. So yeah, this is like a size extra small um, box here of American Eagle. And that is box number seven. I'm going to move on and just do this generic box of um, athletic wear. And it's not actually generic. There are only five pieces in this box. I did this. I organized this one right before I started to shoot. This is probably one of the nicer things in these boxes. Is These are Nike dry fit cropped leggings. I think I paid like 40 or $50 for these for myself. Um, they just, I don't know. I have so many leggings. I think if you watch my Marie Kondo video, you'll see how many I have. This is a nice crop. These are in excellent condition. They show little to nowhere. I think these alone, if I sold them, I could get like $30 for. Um, but anyway, so there's these, but there's only five in this box. I actually had a pink, like a mint green, just a nice pullover that was like a little slouchy and there was like a little little seam a uh, little thread and I pulled the thread and ripped it so I had to pull that that was the sixth item in this box but because we have the Nikes I'm, I still feel pretty good about a $30 price tag on these this was actually this is Angie's this is a size small this is mixed sizing um, this is a quarter zip that she wore for one of her competitions and I believe we bought this on Amazon but it's like that it's like that athletic fabric like a fit fitted to throw on for a cool run if it's cool outside it's really nice the fabric is nice and it is a size small I used to love the brand Lucy like many years ago but this is a Lucy like a yoga top it says breathe it's a size large but it's a small large I would say this fits like a medium and has little embellishments on the sleeve um oh yeah and the the sleeves are really cool one says inhale the other says exhale I thought that was so cute. And then it says breathe on the chest. This is great for a yogi. So cute. I love that. This is on the larger side. This reminds me of Lululemon um, Swiftly Tech line. Climb Aware. I'm sorry. But it has some ruching. This, give, this is more spacious. And then it has like kind of this ruching in the back and on the side. This is very, like, gives me Lululemon vibes. Very nice quality. And this is another Lucy top. This is a medium. Um, and it kind of has that, the ribbing at the bottom with, like, a little floral pattern, half sleeves. And this is, like, a brownish mauve color. So that is box number... What is that? I forget. Um, so American Eagle is seven... This athletic wear box is box number eight. So athletic wear is box number eight. So when you do go to Poshmark, I will take one group picture and then I'm going to list out the item and the size, but I'm not gonna do eight pictures. I'm probably gonna do like a picture of the priority box and a picture of the actual pieces in the bundle. It just stopped recording, but I think we're back in business now. Okay, um, so yeah, so I'm going to have a picture of the priority box and I am going to have maybe some sort of like a description from Canva with working during quarantine with my family from home. The natives are getting restless. Um, okay, so that athletic box was box number eight. I'll talk more about the description later. Let's move on to box number nine. Box number nine, here we go. These are three sets of Victoria's Secret pajamas, and they're super cute. Two are Angelina's, one is mine, so I think we have extra small, we have small, and then we have large. So three different sizes. Just a heads up if you want to sh keep one for yourself, sell one. Um, so the first set is extra small. It's this really cute royal blue short sleeve top with these lightweight sh pants. These are great for spring and summer. I don't feel I don't feel like Angie wore these much at all. They're really cute. They have, they have like a little beach scene, beach scene on the pants. Very good condition. Uh, so there's that set. This is more of like a winter vibe, but it's it's still like a lightweight thermal. Uh, really cute. So there's the top, and here's the bottom. Another set, and it's got the cute. I mean, I think during the holidays, my mother-in-law usually buys these for Angie. And, um, you know, these sell retail for $52. And maybe she gets them for like $30, $35 on sale. And now you're getting three for $30. This is the large. 
This was mine. It's like a dark gray, like waffly thermal look. And then it's got the plaid on the side and then it's got matching pants. It's got this like elastic -y waist up here. And these are a size large, great condition. So that is box number nine. And those are the Victoria's Secret pieces. Okay, we are more than halfway there. Box number 10, we're into our double digits now. This is an Ann Taylor loft right. slash Ann Taylor box. What do we want to make for dinner? We have more stuff that we need to eat. I know that. I think we're going to do ham and the beef tenderloin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is a slouchy neck, like kind of like that Gap shirt I showed you on the dressier side. Very pretty, just very simple, but very pretty. This is Ann Taylor. Um, size large, sleeveless tank, longer length. It has a little bit of ruching on the side. Uh, this is a pencil skirt from Ann Taylor. It's a size 10, excellent condition, just a very basic. If anybody's going to be wearing skirts in the next few months, I don't know. Um, this is a size medium, but because this was Ann Taylor loft, I tossed this in one, two, three, four, five. Um, this is really pretty. It has like this ribbon detail with like little rhinestones around the collar and it's a maroon color, like a little scoop neck. This is one of the five piece bundles. Loft is like slightly more than um, Old Navy and you're getting denim in this one too. So this, these are $6 per item. This is Loft. This is a cold shoulder sweater. So it's a nice gray cold shoulder and it has like a little bit of a bell at the sleeve. I love this. It little minimal pilling on this but really really cute and um i like that a lot i just have a lot of gray sweaters and then i had these um, size 12 modern slim size 31 denim with some distressing these jeans are really cute um, so these are the jeans um they look like they're like a mid-rise potentially low rise actually but they, they're not high rise at all but the back is nice and high um, and it does have like the little distressing here. So that's really cute. So that is box number 10, Ann Taylor Loft slash Ann Taylor. Box number 11. Are you guys having fun? I've never done a haul this way. I'm feeling a little out of sorts. I'm not, I'm not in my typical spot where I usually film. I'm doing a totally different format. I'm using a different camera. I'm like, ah, I hope this comes out okay. The worst thing would be was if I watch this back and the whole video is blurry and have to do it again. I will cry out loud. Okay, Target. We are moving on to Target brand. I have a lot of cute Target things. This is a um, collaboration they did with Proenza. This is an extra large. I loved this pattern. This is actually a very cool sweatshirt and I've seen these sell on their own. Um, I also got a computer or like a tablet laptop case that went with the same line, it had the same pattern. I think I may have already sold that. But this has a little bit of a high-low style. That's an extra large from Target. These I just threw in last minute. Um, I have to make sure this is the weight. This is that brand Gilligan O'Malley. Um, these were Angie's and these are just like a very basic pant. These have a little bit of wear on them, but they're cute lounge pants. These are a size small. I just tossed these in as an extra. These are uh, dress pants in a size 10. This is fit number one, Marona black from when I worked. So these are size 10. They have a wide leg. I would say that these are a mid rise. They have one button in the back. This bra, I don't know how this bra made its way in here. This I never wore. So maybe that's why this is like brand new and it has a, like a racer back. So you can wear it with like an athletic. And I believe this is a 30, oh, 38 D. 38D. And then it's like a clasp in the front, like brand new, really nice. I have these lounge pants, which are fleece, leopard. They may have had a top that went with them, but I didn't have it. But these are cute little fleece pants and they have this cute little maroon stripe at the bottom. These are really interesting leggings. I ordered these brand new and I never wore them. I couldn't quite figure out the tie at the bottom, but they're these really fun. They almost look like ballerina leggings that like crisscross and tie like in the back of your ankle. They're pretty, they're really fun actually, but they look like this. And then you just kind of crisscross them at your calf and then tie them in the back. These are a large, extra large, and this is exhilaration. And then one more piece for the target box. And this is who, what, where, and an extra large. And this is just a really cute basic striped shirt with um, 
elbow length sleeves, a little on the boxier side. Very cute, lightweight. You could wear this now. So this Target box is box number 11. I'm actually going out of order from the way that I had them written in here. So I'm having to go in with each one and um, switch up here, which number it is. So this next one is my Boston Babe box. These were custom shirts that my cousin made years ago and I cut them and it has like the scoop neck and it says peace, love, red socks. So cute. This is not licensed. I actually think he got shut down making these. I think he was selling them outside of Fenway Park and like had all of his stuff taken away. This, I don't know what to do with this shirt. Uh, my brother bought this for Rocco. So this is a kid's, this is a youth shirt, but I think it would look really cute like on a woman's size medium. But Revis, 24, couldn't even tell you who this guy was. I don't think he was on the Patriots for very long, but I know my brother paid good money for this. It's Nike brand. Uh, being with us anymore. This is a Red Sox full zip hoodie. This is super cute. The brand is gear and this is a women's extra large. I like this. I, I'm more of a Red Sox fan than I am a Patriot. This I think I picked up at the bins, but it's really nice. And the reason I decided not to sell it straight up was because it had this little cut here. Or maybe I cut it. I, I like cut sweatshirts. Um, but this is also... Um, this is either Nike or Reebok, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, it is a Super Bowl sweatshirt. It has like a couple small pulls, but it's Patriots champion. Oh, it is Nike. It's got the Nike swoosh on the arm. So this is actually a great value box because a lot of, um, a lot of, Sports paraphernalia stuff can be very expensive. And a couple of those, like I think that Red Sox one I bought like at the souvenir shop on Yonkey Way after one of the games. So that's another box. That is box number 12, Boston Babe. All right, we are closing out the show with more Old Navy. I think, um, so we are on box number 13. So including this, I think I have four more boxes. I'm gonna try to move this along. I'm a big, big fan of pixie pants from Old Navy. I have a lot of them and I think I have four in these upcoming boxes. So in this box, you're gonna get two pairs of pixie pants. They are size 12. These are a very popular style from Old Navy and these are red ones, really cute. I think I wore these one for like the seam is a little undone. So I may stitch that before I send it off or not. <laughs> Just giving you a heads up. Uh, these are red pixie pants in a size 12. You're also going to get a pair of black pixie pants in a size 12. Some of these do have a little bit of wash wear, so keep that in mind. But two pairs of pixie pants. The red ones might need a little mending. This is a plaid shirt. This is a cotton plaid shirt. I actually really like this. This is size large. This is from Old Navy. Pretty lightweight. This could be something that you could wear. It has a little bit of a fleece feel. It's not like that crisp cotton feel excuse me, but it's not like a thick fleece, you know, or a flannel. This top I really like too. This has a little bit of wash wear, mild pilling, but this is very my style. And the reason I didn't keep this is because it was just a little short, but this is really cute layered over a tank top with leggings. Um, I just love this flowy popover style. I love this style and it's like a gray marled um, top. We have just another basic old navy t-shirt little scoop neck in gray and this is a size large and the last thing in this bundle box is a denim shirt from old navy uh, really cute it has this little detail on the shoulder these items are not going to be steamed they're a little bit wrinkled they're not like my typical packaging this is a size large button down which would also by the way look really cute with either of the pixie pants like you can tie it at the hip the red pixie or the black pixie with this denim and this is box number 13. we're moving on to box number 14 here 14. this is a vest this is a sweater vest from the gap i believe this is gap and it is a size medium it has the dots so it looks like maybe gap outlet and it has almost like a racer back opening. I used to wear this at work. Um, we had to, any, our top layer had to be black if we had a pattern underneath or whatever. So I would just always throw this on with like dress pants and whatever shirt I had underneath it. So it's just, I like vests. Sometimes they just give me that extra layer of comfort. So there's that. This is Gap, Pure Gap, and this is also a size medium. Um, little fluffy there. 
this is very nice. The, the Pure Gap is a really nice fabric um, that they sell over at Gap Body, I believe. So short sleeve, v-neck, very nice. Oh, I just want to making sure there's no flaws as I go here. Here's another one of these skirts that I liked so much that I already described. Size medium gap. There's a lot of mediums in this box. Um, I think everything is a medium except for this tank top. So that's three items. This is just a basic ribbed tank, but it was it was short, so I thought it was cute to throw in with the mediums. It's a gap essential tank. It's a size large. It almost looks like it, oh, it has been cut. It has been cut, that's why it's short. It's been cut. Angelina probably got her hands on this one and cut it and then decided not to keep it. And the last item is this kind of ombre sweatshirt. It does have minor pilling, minor pilling. It's a medium, but it's really cute. It's like the seafoam color. I like this a lot. I haven't had this very long. I just think I'm more of a large than a medium. And so it's, it's an oversized medium, but I like how the bottom is like a little bit lighter than everything. You know, it's that like really lived in cotton feel, very soft. Okay, box number 14, Gaps, primarily medium, plus you get the ribbed size large cropped navy tee. So box number 15 is a little bit of a combination. It's I called it my random box. It has some old navy and it has some target in here. I think what happened was I had done a lot of the boxes and then I just had a couple from each brand left over. So I decided to just create a combo box. These were also in schedule to go off to um, thread up and I pulled them for the sake of this box because I needed something. They're really distressed jeans. They are the Old Navy Boyfriend straight jean and they are in a size zero. So again, for somebody little, um, they're really shredded in the front. So there's those. These are also a small, so this is a mix of smalls and larges, I believe. These are just your basic Old Navy Polar Bear lounge pants. These aren't a big value. I mean, you can get these for like eight or nine dollars. I think I just threw these in. Um, you can get those eight or nine dollars new. These I love, and I bought these for myself because I was in love with them, and I think I paid like 15 or 16 dollars for them. Nothing crazy, but they're exhilaration, and I just they just didn't look good on me. Can I tell? They're like a junior size, and they just were not my friend. The silkiest velvet with these little bears. I'm in love with these pants. They're so soft. Like Barefoot Dreams has nothing on these Target pants, and they're like a winter white with these little gray bears. They are absolutely adorable. I think they, I think I wore them once. These are in beautiful, like new condition. They're a large, but they're not a very big large. But I thought they kind of went cute with the Old Navy Polar Bear and this little bear opposite, cute. Thought they had the same vibe. This is a new with tags item that I think I tossed in here because the, the Polar Bear pants aren't really worth much at all. This I think my mom gave to Ange at Christmas and she never wore it. And I think because Angie's not big into the cowl neck, but it's this really pretty rose color longer length new with tag from marshall's it's actually you know how during the holidays they have oh i thought this said like something about christmas on it but i guess not so new with tag cowl neck nice long length size small would be great with leggings again and then this is a mosimo size medium blue hoodie from target you believe I had all this stuff in my closet? I mean, all this. This is like the 10 plus black bags. And I still have my dress haul to do with you. And I still have stuff that I'm just selling on Poshmark. And I have two bags that I've donated. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Okay, box number 15. That's like the hodgepodge of Old Navy and Target. Box number 15. Final box. This is box number 16. And it's, guess what? It's an old navy box. Um, and it also has two more pairs of pixie pants. So box number 16, here we go. Really cute gray cardigan sweater and an extra large right here. It's just an open front, no buttons, nice comfy pop on, very versatile piece. This this t-shirt I love, but again, I'm not a big t-shirt person. This is just like an abstract. It almost looks like a, like a starburst or almost like a, it, actually, you know, it looks like a dandelion, a metallic dandelion right before you blow it and it goes off into the air. Short sleeve, rounded neck, size large. This reminds me of a uh, soft and sexy fabric from American Eagle, but it is old Navy, of course. 
This is the Pixie Pants, Black Pixie in a size 12 again. Pretty basic, but great staple. Um, and if I think about it, I will scroll what Pixie Pants are selling for in case you wanted to resell. Just a basic gray, basic gray long sleeve tee. My long sleeve tees tend to be in really good condition because I buy them and then I never wear them. It's like what I do. These are leggings. These are straight leg leggings. They're called the Go Dry Old Navy Active. I love Old Navy Active wear. Um, this is just a straight leg. Um, and it feels like it almost has like a little extra compression band in the waist. Again, size large. And last but not least, we are going to end this LBF box, bundle box haul with these damask pixie pants that I bought and wore for like a New Year's Eve party or like holiday. Really pretty. These are definitely dressy. Uh, would look great with like a black top or you could wear it with the black cardigan here. Very nice. Um, what size? I'm sure there are 12. Pixie mid-rise. All my pixie pants are size 12 regular. So that is it. That is box number 16. I'm sure I will come up with a few more boxes. I'm looking at a box right now filled with bras and bathing suits that I haven't gone through. I still have a ton of tank tops, more athletic wear, but this was about where I maxed out and I thought this would be enough for one video. So if I decide to add more, I'm probably not gonna do another video, but you'll see like the one picture and then I'll give the description with just basically a brief description of each piece with the size in the box. Um, and that's it. So I'm also looking at some H&M pieces. I, I still have a lot of stuff to go through. So if I decide to do a few more boxes, maybe I'll include those when I do the dress haul coming soon. So I'll have one other video out this week. Um, and I also need to do my American Girl video. Probably not going to be out till next Sunday, potentially a week from Wednesday. But that's all for today. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. I know this was a very different one for all of us. We drove around to family members and we brought them set cookies that my husband makes, uh, traditional cookies that his grandmother used to make. So we did deliveries today and we were at least able to see our family, even if it was just for like a virtual hug or a wave from curbside. So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday or Sunday if you don't celebrate Easter. And I hope sales are good. Sales are definitely picking up. I will see you back soon, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. More about um, the LBF bundle boxes will be listed in my description and be on the lookout on my Poshmark closet, which is at Lori Boston Found on Poshmark for these bundles and when they will be available. So be looking for them Monday and Tuesday. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.